हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस रेक्टिफिकेशन ऑफ कर्व्स गिवन बाय द इक्वेशन वाई इज इक्वल टू एफ ऑफ एक्स इन माय लास्ट वीडियो वी सॉ द लेंथ ऑफ द कर्व गिवन बाय द इक्वेशन वाई इज इक्वल टू एफ ऑफ एक्स फ्रॉम पॉइंट ए टू पॉइंट बी इज गिवन बाय द इंटीग्रल ऑफ अंडर रूट वन प्लस डी वाई बाई डी एक्स स्क्वायर डी एक्स ओवर द लिमिट एक्स वन टू एक्स टू वेर एक्स वन एंड एक्स टू आर एक्स कॉर्डिनेट्स ऑफ पॉइंट ए एंड बी नाउ लेट एस सी एग्जाम्पल्स दैट यूज इज दिस टेक्निक हियर इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी आर आस्ट टू फाइंड लेंथ ऑफ द कर्व गिवन बाई इक्वेशन वाई इज इक्वल टू एक्स स्क्वायर बाई टू फ्रॉम पॉइंट जीरो कॉमा जीरो टू टू कॉमा टू हियर इक्वेशन ऑफ द कर्व इज गिवन बाई वाई इज इक्वल टू एक्स स्क्वायर बाई टू This is of the type y is equal to f of x. Now we say let s be the length of this curve. Then s is given by the formula integration of under root one plus dy by dx square dx over the limit x one to x two. Here x one will be x coordinate of this point and x two will be x coordinate of this point. Now we calculate dy by dx from equation of the curve, which is y is equal to x square by two. therefore dy by dx is 2x by 2 that is just x then s will be integral from 0 to 2 under root 1 plus x square dx which is same as integration of under root of a square plus x square dx which is given by the formula x by 2 under root a square plus x square plus a square by 2 into log of x plus under root a square plus x square So here a square is one, that is a is one. Therefore, value of this integral is half x under root one plus x square plus half log of x plus under root one plus x square over the limit zero to two. Now let us substitute these limits in x. When we substitute two in x, we have two by two under root one plus two square, that is under root of five plus half log of 2 plus under root of 1 plus 2 square that is under root 5 as first term minus now let us substitute lower limit 0 in x when we substitute 0 in x here we see first term becomes 0 second term will be half log of 0 plus under root of 1 plus 0 that is log of just 1 so this we say length of the curve y is equal to x square by 2 from point 0 comma 0 to 2 comma 2 i hope you understood this first example now let us see another one here we are asked to find length of the curve given by y is equal to 2 times x raised to 3 by 2 from x is equal to 0 to 7 so in this example we are given x coordinates of points a and b so we can consider these as lower and upper limits of the integral here equation of the curve is given by y is equal to 2x raised to 3 by 2 which is of the type y is equal to f of x so if we say s is the length of the curve then s is given by this formula as already discussed here x1 will be 0 and x2 will be 7 now let us find out dy by dx Here dy by dx will be two into three by two into x raised to one by two. This two and this two will get cancelled. So dy by dx is three x raised to half. Therefore, now s can be written as integral from zero to seven under root of one plus three x raised to half whole square dx. Three square is nine and x raised to half square is just x. so we have integration of under root of 1 plus 9x dx whose value is 1 plus 9x raised to 3 by 2 upon 3 by 2 into derivative of 1 plus 9x that is just 9 over the limit 0 to 7 after substituting these limits in this we see answer is 1022 upon 27 you can pause the video and check this calculation so we say this is length of the curve y is equal to 2x raised to 3 by 2 from point x is equal to 0 to 
now let us proceed for next example here we are asked to find the length of the curve given by equation x raised to 2 by 3 plus y raised to 2 by 3 is equal to a raised to 2 by 3 from x is equal to 0 to point a so clearly a is a parameter or a constant now we first note down the equation of the curve whose length we want to find out which is this this equation is an equation of an asteroid given by this figure since this is a standard figure i thought i need to show you this now let's go ahead now we say s be the length of the curve then s is given by this formula here x1 is 0 and x2 is a now to find out dy by dx we will differentiate this equation with respect to x so after differentiation we see it is equal to 2 by 3 x raised to minus 1 by 3 plus 2 by 3 into y raised to minus 1 by 3 dy by dx is equal to derivative of a that is constant is 0. Now dividing this equation throughout by 2 by 3 we get x raised to minus 1 by 3 plus y raised to minus 1 by 3 dy by dx. Now let's take this x raised to minus 1 by 3 other side and then we divide it by y raised to minus 1 by 3. So we get dy by dx as minus of x raised to minus 1 by 3 upon y raised to minus 1 by 3. This we can write as minus y raised to 1 by 3 upon x raised to 1 by 3. Now let's substitute values of dy by dx, x1 and x2 in this formula of s. So s is given by integral from 0 to a of under root 1 plus minus y raised to 1 by 3 upon x raised to 1 by 3 whole square dx minus square is plus y raised to 1 by 3 whole square is y raised to 2 by 3 upon x raised to 1 by 3 square is x raised to 2 by 3 then after cross multiplying and simplifying we get this is equal to integral of under root of x raised to 2 by 3 plus y raised to 2 by 3 upon x raised to 2 by 3 dx but this numerator that is x raised to 2 by 3 plus y raised to 2 by 3 is nothing but a raised to 2 by 3. So we replace it by a raised to 2 by 3. Now this square root sign and these squares will get cancelled. We will be left with a raised to 1 by 3 in the numerator and x raised to 1 by 3 in the denominator. Then taking this x raised to 1 by 3 in the numerator we will have x raised to minus 1 by 3. Now let's take out this constant term a raised to 1 by 3 outside. Then integration of x raised to minus 1 by 3 is x raised to 2 by 3 upon 2 by 3. Now we will substitute these limits in x. When we substitute a in x we have a raised to 2 by 3 upon 2 by 3. And when we substitute lower limit 0 in x we get answer 0. This 2 by 3 in the denominator can be written as 3 by 2. So we have a raised to 1 by 3 into 3 by 2 into a raised to 2 by 3. a raised to 1 by 3 into a raised to 2 by 3 is a. So length of the curve that is this asteroid from point x is equal to 0 to a is 3 by 2 a. I hope you understood this answer. Now let's proceed for our last example. Here we are asked to find length of the parabola x square is equal to 4y which lies inside the circle x square plus y square is equal to 6y. Yes, this is an interesting example because coordinates of the end points of the curve are not mentioned here. Out of these two curves, parabola and circle, we have to find length of the parabola which lies inside the circle. So let us first draw these curves and then find the coordinates for endpoints. Given a parabola x square is equal to 4y, this parabola is the one which opens upwards and whose vertex is origin. Similarly, this equation x square plus y square is equal to 6y is the equation of the circle and we know circle can be drawn with the help of center and radius. To find center and radius of this equation, we recall 
equation of the standard circle x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0 whose center is given by minus g comma minus f coordinates and radius is given by under root of g square plus f square minus c. So when we compare this equation x square plus y square is equal to 6y with this equation we see g is 0 and f is minus 3. So when we substitute g is 0 and f minus 3 in this coordinates we get center of this circle is 0 comma 3 whereas radius is also 3. Now let us draw this circle. This circle will lie on y axis with center 0 comma 3 and radius 3. Now let's merge these curves. So we will have this kind of figure. As asked in the question, we have to find length of this parabola drawn by red color lies inside this circle. So we have to find length of this parabola from this point to this point. And since this parabola is symmetric about y axis, it is enough to find length of the parabola from origin to this point and then multiply it by 2. Now first we find these points of intersection so that we will have coordinates to these points. For that we put the equation of the parabola x square is equal to 4y into this equation of a circle. We get 4y plus y square is equal to 6y. Taking this 4y on the other side, we get y square is equal to 2y. This square and y will get cancelled. We will have y is equal to 2. Now finally we put y is equal to 2 in the equation of parabola we get x square is equal to 8 that is x is equal to plus minus 2 root 2. So here x coordinate is minus 2 root 2 and here x coordinate is 2 root 2. Y coordinate will be 2 on both the side. So points of intersections are 2 root 2 comma 2 and minus 2 root 2 comma 2. And now as discussed earlier we have to find length of the parabola from this point to this point. So we have to find length of the parabola from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 2 root 2. Let s represents the length of that parabola then s will be given by this formula where x1 is 0 and x2 is 2 root 2. Now let us calculate dy by dx from equation of this parabola. For that we differentiate this with respect to x. So we have dy by dx is equal to 2x by 4 that is x by 2. Now let us substitute dy by dx value into this formula. We get s is equal to 2 times integral from 0 to 2 root 2 under root 1 plus x by 2 square dx. I hope you remember why we took 2 here. Let us simplify this. This will be x square upon 2 square. Then after simplifying this, we will have under root 2 square plus x square upon 2 square. Let us take out this 2 square. So because of this square root sign, we will have only 1 by 2 outside. That 1 by 2 and 2 will get cancelled. So we have integral of under root 2 square plus x square dx. Once again, we have to use the formula that we have applied in the first example. That is integral of under root a square plus x square which is given by x by 2 under root x square plus a square plus a square by 2 into log of x plus under root x square plus a square. Here limits are 0 to 2 root 2. Now all we have to do is we have to substitute these limits in x. So after substituting 2 root 2 over here we have s is equal to root 2 into under root of 12 plus 2 log of 2 root 2 plus root 12. Then by substituting lower limit 0 in x, we see this first term becomes 0. This will be 2 into log of 0 plus under root 0 square plus 2 square that is 2. Further simplifying which we get s is equal to this. I hope you understood every step of this answer.
in my next video we will see examples of finding length of the curve of type 2 that is curve given by equation x is equal to f of y till then thank you all of you thank you for watching this video please subscribe my youtube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos